<laughs> Go show me your boat, babe. <laughs> this is my wind. <laughs> Spray her. Spray her, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to part two of my Ladies Only Competent Crew course with British Offshore Sailing School. We ended part one at Buckler's Hard down the Beauty River, which was such a treat. After a good night's sleep, we started the day a little later due to the low tides preventing us from leaving. A friend of Gary's had coincidentally moored up alongside us the night before, and he had very kindly agreed to show us round his beautiful Southerly 42. Around 10am, it was then time to head off back into the Solent for another gorgeous day of sailing. Many people that go on competent crew, I think, <laughs> have probably more than likely have had some form of sailing experience in the past, whether it be dinghy sailing or actually being on a boat. I have had three days worth and that was helping bring our boat back from where we bought her to where we are, have moored her. So my experience is very, very minimal. And I can't say it was much help on that trip, to be honest with you. I realise at this point we're over a year into our YouTube channel, our sailing YouTube channel, and I can still tell you right now that I do not know how to sail. So I'm very excited for this course because I'm very excited to learn more. However, I'm slightly nervous because I'm worried that I'm the only one that has zero. I'm a complete beginner. But hey, so I hope this video can give you a little insight into what Competent Crew looks like, um, what an all women sailing course looks like. Um, I have no idea what this is going to be because I'm literally talking to you the day before it starts. But hopefully this is going to be followed on by some wonderful content. It's really interesting having completed this course now, owning a boat for two years and doing it up and learning the language and and dipping in and out of, of Ben's day skipper theory and basically putting it all together because I've had a very sporadic learning experience really with sailing and I finally sort of get it got to get to put it into practice. Yeeha! And also taking away all of those elements of safety in terms of relying on people. So taking Ben away, taking away a boat I already know, and basically putting me with a bunch of strangers and seeing how it goes. And it was such an interesting learning experience. I had so much fun. I was really excited for it, but I was also quite nervous. There was part of me that goes, oh my God, what if I don't like it? And then having this whole regretful situation of why have I bought a boat? without knowing if I like sailing. But I think in my heart of hearts, I know that I'm a, an outdoor person. I know that I love an adventure and just the idea of doing something different. And I've got such excitement to live on our boat and just battle the elements and figure it out as we go that I'm just so excited to sort of get that into motion. And doing this course has really sort of put that into perspective and really given me almost a push towards, gosh, let's just get this boat done so that we can actually live on it and go sailing. Some rises in the, what, some rises in the east, sets in the west. So as part of our competent crew, we had to complete four hours of night sailing. Welcome to our boat. And we couldn't have picked a more perfect night to go night sailing. It was absolutely glorious. We had the moon, I think it was a super moon, and it was just utterly beautiful obviously videos do not do it justice but that was rising as we were leaving the sun was setting the stars were coming out it was just oh my gosh it was beautiful so the reason we're doing this is to give you the a completely different experience and perspective on sailing and to appreciate the preparation that's required so i put a route in quite a detailed route to get us where we want to go and it's, it's round the top of uh, Bramble Bank. Night sailing was a really good way for us to see sailing in a completely different light, especially when you're such a small vessel, you're in the Solent and there's huge tankers and large, large boats constantly crossing you and coming near you. And when you're in the dark, it's so much harder to see and you're having to play with lights from the land compared to lights on a boat. So. It was really fun trying to figure out what's what. Night sailing for me was definitely one of my highlights. I love that feeling of the sun setting. You kind of can't see where you're going, but you've just got this one 
the course you're on, you just gotta stick with it. And it just makes it a bit more of an exciting experience. So yeah, I loved night sailing. Yeah. Ready about. Ready for? Ready starboard. The ladies only course, that was my decision to do. I have said this before, but I wanted to go with Ben originally, um, but having taken that into account and just making sure I got the most out of it, I, I really wanted to go on my own without Ben there so that I could completely fully immerse myself in it and not feel like I could rely on Ben a bit because I feel, I feel like I knew I would. So I wanted to take that aspect away so that I can just focus on me learning as much as possible on my own. On top of that, I didn't want to risk signing up to a competent crew course and there not being any women on board at all, regardless of if anyone had had any experience before. I think I just wanted that sort of camaraderie with, with a woman on board. So overall, there was five of us on board. There was me, Faye, Callie, Julia and Gary. I don't really think I was necessarily expecting a woman or not as our skipper, but I'm very, very glad we had Gary on board. Um, he was wonderful. He definitely taught us more than we sort of needed to know as competent crew. So the next event then is getting the main sail up. All right, so troops to task. Smack into wind now, Faye, please. Drop the boom up, everybody. And he really took on board the fact that we all had very different backgrounds in, in our sailing experiences. Faye, who'd never set foot on a boat before, her son had been on the very same course only a couple of weeks beforehand, so she was up for the challenge. Then we had Callie, who had a lot of dinghy sailing experience, and then we had Julia, who had had quite a lot of experience on sailing yachts before, but not for a while, for about 10 years. Um, so we all had very, very different levels of knowledge. Gary's knowledge of meteorology and all things weather was also a little added bonus. I think we learned a lot more than we needed to. Also just his calmness. Is everybody happy? There were definitely moments when I think we were up against it or had to do something really quickly, had to tack really quickly. Luckily we didn't have to deal with too much crazy weather. But there were definitely points where, you know, we had to be quite firm or, or quick with his decision making. He was always just so calm and clear with his instructions. Right, so that's red, isn't it? So we are give way. So let's throttle up, get out of his way. For the UK, we seriously lucked out. In all honesty, we couldn't have picked a better week to go sailing. <laughs> Part of me was actually wanting some gnarly weather, but in a way, I'm quite glad for the first time properly sailing and learning the skills. I'm quite glad that we had relatively calm weather. We definitely had some gusty weather. I think we hit a 4.6 at one point, so we've definitely experienced some, some waves and some choppy, choppy weather. But all in all, the sun was shining the whole, the whole time. It gives me great pleasure to award you with some certificates. Woohoo! So there you go, Faye, Thank in no you. particular order. Thank you. Don't say that. Uh, do that? <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Ali. <laughs> Well done. I definitely want to go back and do my day skipper. There was part of me that wanted to do my day skipper just straight away without doing my competent crew first. I'm glad I didn't do that because on top of the day skipper, you're immersed with so much more knowledge you're going to have to take on board much quicker. And if you have barely any sailing knowledge anyway, competent crew just gets you to that point where you can understand the actual science behind sailing and knowing the points of sail and how that feels when you actually are at the helm and what you're looking for and 
I would really recommend doing competent crew before doing a day skipper course. So all in all, I had such a great time. I'm now watching all the content back and wishing I was back out there. We got on so well and I probably made friends for life here, which is also just another way, just another reason to do it all, I think. And yeah, this just gives me a little bit of a push to get our boat ready so we can go sailing. <laughs> and for those wondering whose boat I'm currently talking to you from, all will be revealed in the next episode, landing in two weeks. See you then.